Live from Earl's here in Winston-Salem, it's another edition of the Coach Harry Show, the first of 2024 after a little bit of a hiatus over the uh, over the holiday season. We're back here, we're live here at Earl's, and it's another it's the newest edition now in the first year in 2024. And uh, Brendan Riley with you here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB as well. Great to have you along from the ride wherever you may be joining us. Also the great crowd here at Earl's as well. Brendan Riley, that coach Steve Harrison, as well as Dawson Baker joining us here tonight. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the show, Dawson. Um, uh, but but uh, great to have you guys along here. And it's been it's been a little while since we've uh, since we've done this here this season. And uh, um, you know, first off, Happy New Year's. There's an interesting few uh, past few weeks, and uh, your team right now is sitting in uh, second in the Continental Division. Yeah, it's been uh, since the last time we actually saw, we did one of these. Uh, uh, I like to say that nothing happened, but a lot has happened, and. Uh, uh, we weather the storm, and, and uh, the, the, I, I give the guys a lot of credit. They, they've uh, uh, tightened the ship up and uh, uh, tightened their bootstraps up and, and played together and uh, just still kept the, the ball rolling here. So uh, I give them all the credit. Uh, uh, when you go through adversity like we had with injuries, call-ups, uh, 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 just kind of everything, um, uh, it, it's what's the character on the team is like, and uh, I, I'm really happy the way that these guys have responded. And Baker, for you, it's been a it's been a good season for you so far. You've come out here, you've picked up some big goals, a couple of four point games as well. It was a pretty good holiday season for you. Yeah, I mean it's been pr pretty good, but want more, a lot more of that. So. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that your team wants a lot more as well. I mean, right now you come into today, you get that split with Columbus back a few weeks ago. You get the sweep over Port Huron, but uh, you you weren't necessarily happy after the weekend against Port Huron, and, and and you wanted to see a little bit more from your team. Well, not, not so much more. I, 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 you know, coming off that split with uh, Columbus, there uh, we knew we were going to be tired. I knew it was going to be how the how uh, just not physically but mentally, and 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 the, the combination. We're short. Uh, I mean, uh, some. Guys Guys played, uh, uh, and I haven't looked at all the figures, but you know, guys like Bake and Forty and, and some forwards probably played close to 30 minutes or over 30 minutes, and that that's outrageous for a, a, a forward. And, and the, the, the D, we only had four, so they they played a lot too. So, uh, and it's an emotional weekend. So. Uh, I wasn't surprised how, uh, you know, Port Huron were hungry. We'd beaten them. I keep telling these guys, uh, Port Huron, uh, we'd beaten them, I think, what, four times or five times in a row. And, uh, you, you know, teams get angry. Uh, we're going to face an angry team on Thursday. So, uh, you know, we, we're going to have to come out on, uh, or on Thursday. But, you know, get back to what we were talking about. They're like, um, I knew thir Friday night we were going to be a little sluggish. And they came out hard. And uh, as I said, I, we, 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 played well enough and, and uh, as I said uh, uh, we never gave up we kept working at it and eventually I told the boys stick to what we're doing and uh, when we get our chances we will and uh, we it turned out well now for you you know coaching for <laughs> as long as you have uh, you come down <laughs> that, that, no, 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 that, okay. that was that wasn't, that wasn't a dig no but no uh, but for someone that has the experience that you have uh, behind the bench to see a lot of your team uh, you know get called up go through injuries like that how much of a challenge was that for you compared to you know your previous coaching experience or something that you you've gone through before and you've had to manage before well it, it, I, everybody goes through it uh, some some teams during some years it, it, it's worse than others uh, guys get a lot of injuries or or, or you're going to get a lot of call-ups or, or, or suspensions or, or whatever happens and uh, um, you know we had one guy go home for personal reasons so a lot of things happen during the course of the year and uh, you know the guys that are here uh, they got an opportunity and and uh, uh, I know some guys don't want to play 30 minutes a game, but uh, they, sometimes you have to. And, and so uh, uh, everybody's responded. Everybody stood up. And uh, as I said, for some guys who maybe don't get as much ice time as other guys, uh, it's, it's their time to shine and show me that, you know, uh, when we do maybe get everybody back or, or, uh, or uh, as I said, uh, put them in situations and all of a sudden, hey, geez, maybe we should use this guy here. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity when those things happen. And uh, you can't get down about it. You just you, you got to move forward. You take, uh, I always look at what I, it's not what you don't have, it's what you have. And, and we got to make the best of what we have. Now you're behind the bench, but Dawson, you're on the ice in that Columbus series, you know, like you said, playing 30 minutes a game. How, how are you feeling after those three games? Uh, I mean, I was a little banged up, but <laughs> I can do it, I guess. But <laughs> I'd like a little more rest, but if I can, I can't. So 
Yeah, well, it worked out as Carolina. You end up splitting that series, pick up uh, five more points over the weekend, and now get ready to face off against the Blue Ridge Bobcats coming up here on Thursday evening, the only game this weekend. You guys get the weekend off, so you get that rest there, that rest there, Dawson, that you were looking for. But uh, the only off weekend of the season, but a Thursday night game at 735 from the Annex. Uh, tickets are still available. You can head to the box office over at the Annex or head to Ticketmaster.com to get your tickets today if you haven't already. It should be another uh, another interesting one. Like the first five have been all season. We're just getting underway here. On the first on the first coach harry show here in 2024 here with head coach steve harrison dawson baker live here at earls and winston salem and we got more to come we got a lot of breakdown a lot of action that we have missed since the last time we chatted so we'll start to get into that here on the other side of this timeout it's coach harry show here this is thunder tv and on wtob for over 85 years muston and crutchfield has been more than just a local market We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. Here at Comtech, we think it shouldn't cost a fortune to have peace of mind. That's why we bring you the latest in smart home protection and home monitoring at prices you can afford. Already paying for home monitoring? We can be it. Give us a call today or .com. Comtech, your one stop for security fire, cameras, and more. Once upon a time, not so far away, two heroes found the secret to a perfect game day. They had heard of a baker, one with big heart. They were thrilled he had the answer. Ava's Cupcakes is where he's set to start. From cakes to cookies, cupcakes, and more, we've got flavors that'll score and score. So the Thunderbirds cheered, ready to tell all. Ava's Cupcakes is the sweetest. Make Rita call. We're back here live at Earl's in Winston-Salem. It's the newest edition of the Coach Harry Show in the first year in 2024 as we're being joined by the head coach, Steve Harrison, as well as for Dawson Baker and uh, another good Tuesday night here. I wasn't sure earlier today. I mean, it was it was coming down in buckets it, earlier it, today. It, it, you know? it rained pretty hard, <laughs> trust me. I, I had to get out. I had to get outside a couple times, and uh, I wasn't happy. It, uh, my glasses get all wet, and I can't see anything, so it, uh, uh, maybe people thought I was a crazy driver, but I couldn't see, so that's okay. <laughs> yeah, we, had, we, had the, we had the power go out at the, uh, in the, at the office at the annex earlier today. So uh, that was about 1.30, and I was, uh, I was, was like, I'm going to go home and get ready for the show here tonight. But uh, <laughs> We lost power at the house, I yep. so Yeah, everywhere around there, too. So, yeah, it's not a not a good night. No. Hopefully everything gets taken care of. No, but thank you all for coming out here, braving the elements, getting out here on your Tuesday evening. Yeah. But, uh, but as we mentioned at the top of the show, uh, it's been a while since we've done this, and there, there's a lot to get into, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to take a look at that whole Columbus series. And, and it started before Christmas. It started mm -hmm. with that uh, Saturday night game. Um, you come off a 5 nothing sweep of Blue Ridge, and you, and you come into a Saturday game. Back at home, it was a special theme night, and it, there, there was a sold-out crowd. There was a, a lot going on there that day, coming off of a, uh, you know, a, a split series on a weekend. But uh, your, your team comes out, and they're able to, uh, they're able to come out quickly, get get a get an early lead there in that one. But you find yourself in, a, in another tough game against another good opponent, an opponent that you're going to see a lot here coming up uh, down the stretch as well in Columbus. Yeah, I mean that that game there, I think we just put it all together, and and we showed that that. If we play that style, that uh, a lot of times, uh, and, and we stick to what we want to do, and, and and don't get away from our game, and uh, play discipline, uh, uh, that that a lot.
lot of teams in this league, if we play like that, uh, have a tough time playing with us. And uh, that really showed that night. And uh, as I said, I was proud of the guys. You know, we, we, we you know, uh, in a couple of days, Santa Claus was coming. And uh, I think he already gave us our present that night there of playing that well. And so you, at that point, you move into first with that win mm -hmm. in the division. But uh, but you go to that third period, tied tied at three, and then it was Jan getting a getting an early goal. You had Gusby uh, finish off the hat trick. Uh, no, no, that was New Year's Eve. Sorry, I just got to get my getting ahead of myself. But yeah, Gus pick up a big goal there, Jan an empty netter. But that third period, you go into the tied, and uh, and your team comes out and they're able to put it together and really dominate those final twenty minutes. Well, it's a sixty minute game, and uh, you know, like every, every period, you got to regroup and. Uh, the, the guys uh, put their foot down and, and uh, put the pedal to the metal. And uh, uh, as I said, once we got that one there, uh, uh, we were rolling. And uh, as I said, when we play that style and we play that hard like that, uh, I, a lot of teams have uh, struggle uh, playing with us. So uh, as, as I said, I was pretty happy. Now you see a team four times in a row, but a team like Columbus that you guys have gotten the better of them. You guys have beaten them the first three matchups that season, the first two in a shootout yeah. in overtime. But uh, what, what, what did they do that, and, and how are they constructed that allow them to be successful here in this league? Well, they, they, they've got a lot of skill. They've got a lot of talent. They've got a lot of uh, uh, veterans on that team. They, they've been around for a long time, and uh, we've got quite a few veterans too, but I think they're even older than us, or they've been around a little longer than some of our guys. So uh, they're just put together as well. And uh, they play a good system, but as I said, they got some guys that uh, have been around a long time and put a lot of points on the board. And uh, as I said, they're well constructed. And, and uh, uh, when we play them, I, I think they're fantastic games. I, I think the guys get excited about playing. I do. I think the fans do because when we play those games like that against them, uh, uh, you, you can't beat it. Uh, the, 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 the pace of the game, the, the excitement, the, the skill level on both sides, uh, I think it's fantastic. And I believe you talked about they got some older guys. I believe I saw that uh, McDonald just got his 600th career yeah. point over the weekend, um, or professional point, that yeah. is. But uh, you guys take that 6-3-1, and then you get – a few days off you get you get Christmas you get to you know you get to relax a little bit and then uh, but that's that's when everything started to happen that's when <laughs> that's when uh, you know Tucker Firth Roman Kramer got called up and then um, Joe's out for you find out Joe's out for the weekend Peter as well and so next thing you know you're down you're down four yeah. guys just like that and uh, and you have to go into Columbus there uh, you know it can be a tough place to play in a, in a good team and um, first of a three and three and you have to go in there and you only got for the most part 12 skaters that night yeah again it's 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 what we have and 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 i i don't get too uptight about uh, uh those situations uh, i i believe in, in in these guys and and uh, when you go into situations like that it, it's an opportunity and and uh, we always try not to turn that down so uh was it a hard fought game it was uh, we didn't come out on the on the way where we wanted to but uh, i was proud of the guys uh, i think frankie played that first game and, and played well and uh, as I said, it's just it was one of the when we're playing them. Uh, I think we play them like 12 times, and uh, uh, I knew we weren't going to beat them 12 in a row. Uh, they're they're too good a team, and, and uh, situations like that to happen. And uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, at the end of the game, w when you lose like that, like how we did, uh, a goal here or a save here, or uh, as I said, it, it was so small of, of a margin. But uh, as I said, unfortunately, we didn't come out with the win. Dawson, for you, you, you lose one of your line mates in, in Roman when he gets called up. Um, Dom ends up coming in and filling that spot. Does anything change for you on that on that first line with Gus when, when you see that rotating kind of spot on the left wing? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, anyone can play with us. We're all good on the team, so nothing too much changed. And, and you started Frankie that night. What, what was the thought behind starting Frankie that evening? Well, that, that's why, you, you know, in, in, in any level, when you play three games in a row and you look at the National Hike League, a lot of times guys don't play back-to-back. -back. And, and so uh, it, it, that position is hard uh, uh, with travel and, and, and uh, the intensity of it. And when you're playing a good team like that, so it, it's a hard situation uh, to, to play uh, uh, one goalie three games in a row. So, uh, you know, you need a goalie, and we believe in Frankie. Frankie, we've talked about it before, and, uh, you know, he did a great job. Uh, you know, I'm not saying, that, like, it was his fault or anything like that. As I said, like, he, he played well, and it was just one of those games where, again, we, it's such a small margin of error, and, and uh, that night there we didn't come out.
Well, then you hop on the bus, you drive right back home, and uh, you get ready for uh, the 30th, which was the Saturday night game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you already done a home-and-home -home with them, and, and you go into that game, but, you know, you have a little more rest the next day with a late puck drop. But you go out there once again, you end up signing Josh Keplinger that day. He, yeah. he rejoins the team. But um, you guys go in there coming off a loss. You know, you're back tied in, the, in that tie there with Columbus. And, and um, going into those two games on the weekend, what, what was your message to your team then? Well, we, we just got to keep fighting. And, and, and uh, uh, in between games, you get as much rest as you can. You eat as well as you can. And, and uh, uh, you're hopefully your body responds uh, uh, from, from playing so much the night before and, and the bus trip. And uh, as I said, I thought we came out well. And, uh, you know, and unfortunately, uh, uh, Bake tweaked something on, uh, on the Saturday night. So uh, uh, by the end of that game there, I have probably five or t uh, six or five of our players of, of our top 10 or 11 that, that, that weren't playing that night. So uh, the, the rest of the team stood right up and said, uh, we're going to go fight right to the end, and they did. And so uh, th those are the night. Uh, what you're looking for in those situations is, is, is playing smart, uh, never giving up, doesn't matter what it is, uh, and, and, and just trying to play uh, uh, play a different style. If you are tired, dump the puck in, or you know, for a defenseman there, just just get it out. I can't rush the puck. And uh, as I said, for the most part, I, I thought we played a, a heck of a hockey game in the, on the Saturday night. And, and in that Saturday night, you you guys end up dropping that one four to three, and uh, it was a game that they 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 jumped out early, and, and you guys had to find your way back mm -hmm. and find your way into the game. But it seemed like you guys were able to do that throughout the course of that night. Well, we never gave up, and 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 uh, you know, this year we haven't. Uh, uh, we haven't shown that card uh, to give up, and, and, and I believe that they, we won't. And uh, So even if we got down early there, uh, they jumped out on us early and uh, kind of pinned us in our zone <laughs> a little bit, and I think the shots were like 11 nothing at one time. But uh, again, it was, I think it was only one nothing. So we, weren't, we didn't panic. We, didn't, uh, we, we knew we can score, and, and th that's the one thing about our team. We know, you know he gets one shot. It, there's a good chance he can put it in 40. Uh, you know uh, the check line. A lot of guys. Boots the other night scored three goals. So we we, we have a lot of confidence in our guys. That that uh, a lot of times we don't need to be shooting you know 100 shots to get goals. And uh, so even if we're down one goal or two goals, uh, we know we can fight back. Dawson, for you, have you seen a change here uh, this season compared to your, or if you've seen a change at all? Yeah, I mean a lot more structured. Um, we've been playing pretty good too so but uh we're our room's very tight so it's very fun and yeah now have you been able to you know go in and and be able to walk into that dressing room you know and you know all the guys everyone's very tight like you just said but how, how much does that play a factor for you guys when you guys are out on the ice oh i mean it's awesome we all have each other's backs and we're always there for each other and i mean we learn the game a lot from each other so it's uh yeah it's easy for you as a coach, how good is that to see that your team is that tight and that cohesive? Well, you, you know, you saw it the other night. Uh, you know, someone took a shot at him, and uh, uh, three guys bumped into each other trying to go at the guy. And, and so the, like, those are the things that the coaches look at. I actually talked to a, uh, an old-timer I played against a long time ago. He actually lives here in Winston-Salem, and, and I told him the story, and, and, and he was just like, I thought he was going to start to cry. He was so excited. He said, "That's what that's what the hockey's about." Is uh, as I said, I, I didn't have to say go get him. Like it was like, you know, he got hit, and next thing I know, three guys are chasing. As I said, uh, uh, they almost had to take a number. They, as I said, they almost ran into each other. So, uh, but that's part of the room. That that's that's the closeness that you have. And when when you're with a team, uh, you know, these guys live together. They, they they're in the dress room together. It's a, it's a, we're on the bus. You know that that beautiful uh, that, that beautiful bus <laughs> that we have. So I mean, we're a close knit team, and 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 you got to be, and the guys get along. So as I said, that that that's what, from my perspective, that's what you're looking for. And 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 you know the the the, the guy, uh, uh, Mr. Watson, I I talked today. He goes, well, that's how you win championships with teams like that who are are, are ready to fight for each other, uh, to ready to lay down their body and 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 help the other guy out in, in the time. And as I said that. I always talk about, you know, the guy beside you is your buddy. And then, then as I said, we showed it on Saturday night. Well, showed it and showed it indeed on this past Saturday night. We'll get to the series against Port here on here in just a little bit. We have to run into another timeout. Here on the Coach Harry Show, live from Earl's, head coach Steve Harrison for Dawson Baker joining us here on their Tuesday evening. A great crowd on hand as well. We'll take a timeout and come back more here on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Get ready, Winston-Salem.
Jennifer Sapp, your trusted realtor and broker since 1997, puts the real in realtor, and she's proud to be a sponsor of your Carolina Thunderbirds. As a top producer and your go-to realtor for all your real estate needs, Jennifer Sapp is ready to help you score your dream home goal. Call Jennifer at 336-782-3148 or visit her at jennifersapp.app. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Mabel Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill, relax by our pool and cabana, and gear up at the pro shop while sharpening your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. You can find out more at maplechasecc.com. That's maplechasecc.com. We're back here live at Earl's on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB as well. Brendan Riley being joined by the head coach Steve Harrison and Ford Dawson Baker. Guys, thanks again for taking your time here on your Tuesday evening. And uh, so we got a little ahead of ourselves there. Started talking about the, the weekend at home there against Columbus. Already started getting the game three of that series. But um, you, you go into New Year's Eve. It's a special night, special 835 puck drop. Only game going on uh, in the league. So all, all the are on are, are on you and, and uh, you guys go out there and, and you, you play one pretty classic of a game there I mean you know maybe maybe not for you maybe you want a little something a little bit more decisive there but you go you're going into that and, and you and you're coming off two games and you already mentioned you know, we already mentioned the short staff of it all but uh, you know a three and three to begin with is tough but a three and three with guys playing extended extended minutes extended yeah. shifts that, that, can, that can make it even tougher well that, that shows the character of our team and you know some guys uh, played that night uh, probably maybe not as should have played but played through it and uh uh, th th that's what again uh, th that we keep going back to what what how what our team is about and uh, uh, everybody buckled down and uh, we, we got uh, a great effort from from everybody and uh, again I think we shocked them a little bit that uh, I think they thought they were going to come out and uh, uh, take care of business uh, with our short staff and, and and the way things were going with it and uh, uh, we turned the tables on them. So, uh, as I said, I was really proud of the guys, how, how we finished that off. What did you think of that 835 puck drop? Well, that was – I had a long, long nap in the <laughs> afternoon. I know that much, so that was okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it was just different, a little different when you uh, – uh, you get into a routine, and uh, you know most guys are all like to have a routine. Uh, uh, it's taken me a little while to get used to the six o'clock game on Saturdays. I'm, I'm not used to that one, but now I'm used to that one, and uh, now all of a sudden we go to 8:30. So it was uh, uh, a little different situation. But uh, as I said, uh, uh, it might have been the best thing for us. But, uh, uh, I was a little nervous sometimes. Uh, you know, when you got too long of a, of a wait to, for, to, for it to happen, uh, you kind of come out a little flat, or, you know, if it's too early, then you're exhausted. So I, I wasn't really sure, and uh, uh, as I said, the guys came out smoking and uh, took care of business. Dawson, what do you think about that extent? A little more time to rest for you and, and uh, you know, a little, little extra time there. And, I mean, more at 8.35, or, or you go with the 7.35? I'm good with the 7.35. <laughs> it was a little different, but it was all right. But, uh, but, I mean, as you said, it worked out. You guys came out. You guys came out quick. You had a 3-1 lead after the first. And, and as you said, kind of kind of shocked them, and it took them a little while to try to, you know, start trying to figure out their way in the game and, and start responding to you guys. Yeah, well, that, that's, as I said, uh, uh, I, I think we're there. We shocked them that we came out uh, with as much pep as we did, and uh, uh, we just carried it on through th to the, ho the through the whole game there. And uh, I don't know if the boys just wanted to uh, – uh, make sure that uh, you know when the puck dropped at center ice on uh, at midnight uh, that we were happy or not but uh, uh, as I said they, they put their best foot forward and uh, as I said we showed that that uh, even a little tired a little banged up or, wh or whatever uh, we, we can play with anybody and uh, we did a great job 
Dawson, for you, you had a couple assists in that first period, and you you came out quickly, and we'll, we'll get to the third period here in just a little bit. But um, for you coming off of leaving the game the night before, come out there uh, the next night, it must have felt pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it felt pretty good, but uh, obviously the win felt even better. So, Well, the, well you go to the second period there, and, and, and they get, they find the response quickly. They, they find their answer. They're able to, to cut the lead, but then yeah. uh, you get you get Gus, you know, pick up uh, the hat trick there, his, his second of the season. And, and uh, for him, there you take a 4-2 lead. There's about 10 and a half minutes left to go there in that game uh, or in that second period. Uh, did you want to see maybe your team want to go out there and, and stay just a little bit more on the aggressor that, you know, try to find another, try to put that away, or or, or what do you want to see there? Well, you, you, you'd like to, but, uh, again, you got to look at the situation. you got to look at uh, – uh, do, do we have the legs or, or that? And that's why, uh, you know, that thing, you know, on your shoulders we have to think with. And uh, uh, that night there we just played a good, smart hockey game and uh, maybe not as flashy as a lot of people would like to have it, but uh, uh, some nights you, you, you got to do what you got to do to win, and uh, uh, that's what we did that night. Well, they go to the third, and they end up tying it up on the power play and uh, with about 15, 16 minutes left. So you guys are in another tight game. You're on the back end of a 3-3, three and three and you guys need to go out and find a winner there. And, and you guys were able to, and Dawson, it was you there on the power play with about four and a half minutes left. Uh, what did what, you see there from that play? I know I see this last week, but just to refresh everyone here, what did what, you see there on that play um, and, and, and what allowed you for able to pick up that game one? I mean, Gus made a beautiful pass out to me, and – it looked like the floodgates open. Everyone just let me walk right to the net and shoot. So I'm going to put it away every time if they let me do that. So <laughs> you're, 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 pre you're pretty fired up after that as well. Let's get all the way back to the blue line. Um, just raw emotion there, or, or, or are you trying to give a little fanfare as well? <laughs> ah, I hate the other team. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but it's a team that you guys, you guys see a lot. I mean, you finish off 4-4, four and four and, um, you know, you don't really see that other than, you know, really in a, in a, in a playoff series for the most part. Well, and that's that, – that, it was kind of like a playoff series series and, and uh, uh, you know when we do probably play them in the playoffs so uh, hopefully we're healthy and uh, uh, as I said I, I, I have the utmost confidence that uh, uh, if we're on the road or we're at home or, or whatever against really anybody in our in our league right now uh, uh, when we play that uh, I have the confidence in these guys that uh, uh, we'll take care of business and, that, and that's how I feel and it's not just something I'm saying as, as I said I, I've seen us play at a level and uh, that, that's what, uh, the, you know, I always tell the guys that, you know, that they've set the bar. I didn't set the bar. They set the bar, and they set the bar really up high. And a couple times we've we've maybe dropped a little bit, and uh, they've heard about it a little bit. But uh, So it's my job to make sure that we, we keep that bar at, at a certain level. And as I said, that's uh, that's a credit to them because, as I said, if, if, if they set it here, then that, that's where it's at. But they set it up here, and uh, that's what I expect out of them. And uh, as I said, for uh, uh, for the most part this year, the, the, they've been right there. Well, they've been right there, and you guys now have the series lead against them. See them next Wednesday, mm -hmm. um, a special special Wednesday night game. And a reminder here, there will be no Coach Harry show next week due to uh, the Wednesday night game in Columbus. So uh, we'll, we'll be on the bus Tuesday night. So the next Coach Harry show two weeks from now, not next week, though, over at Dave and & Buster's. And, um, but uh, and it's a team that you guys see. You see them next week, and then you see them uh, in March and then, and then the end off the year as well. But um, something that everyone looks at, or at least people in my position or, or people outside of the team, you know, you look at, you look at the standings all the time, and, and you guys are right there next and neck. Do, do you look at that? How much does that play a factor to you, or are you just still trying to get the best out of your team to find their best performance? Well, I, I mean, it's only human nature not to want to be in first place, and, and uh, uh, I know the guys would love to be in first place, but that, that's, sometimes you got to look at situations, and I look at it, uh, as I said, even if we end up in second, and uh, I have the confidence in them. So I, I'm not, and I look at schedules, I look at a lot of different things, uh, the factors that come into play, and I know from the fans' perspectives, uh, everyone like to be in first place, and, and as I said, it, it would be great if we could get there, but uh, again, uh, it's all about the end, where we are at the end, and, and so what happens during that journey, and, and uh, uh, I think we're on the right path. The boys want to be on this ship, to going in the right direction, and at, at the end, that's where we want to be. And, and so everything else before that or during that like that, I don't want to say it doesn't matter because it does matter, but I'm, I'm more worried about what's happening at the end. And uh, right now we're going in the right direction, and uh, uh, I'm not, uh, as I said, the, the, 
Do we look at the standings? Of course I look at the standings. I look at numbers. I look at, uh, uh, I ask these guys a, a certain number all the time. And uh, so we do look at the standings, but it's not something that uh, we're, we're going to go and, and, and jump out at and, and worry about. Uh, we're going to make sure we take care of business. And, and uh, as I said, I'm worried about it at the end. Dawson, for you, when you see a team four times in a row, does stuff carry over from previous games? Does any, uh, you know, tension, you know, heated moments ever start to carry over? Or is it when, when the puck drops, kind of a, a clean slate going in there? No, I mean, definitely you start hating guys that you play against. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, as you guys can see, people like to target me all the time because I'm always in their heads and that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a battle every time. And it doesn't get easier, so. We'll, we'll take a look at Port Huron in the next segment and uh, in, in game two on Saturday. But uh, but um, for you right now, in the midst of a 14-game stretch against the division, and, and it's always, it seems like throughout sports, there's always that thing, you got to win against your own division. And, and, and right now your team's doing a good job with that. The only two losses coming against that Columbus team. But uh, for you, how, how, or do division wins have a little bit more meaning to them or, or does any win, whether it be against the Continental or Empire, uh, they all kind of hold the same slate? Well, you know, if you play teams in your division and you win, you get three points and they don't get any. So the, the separation can happen really quickly. Uh, uh, if we're not playing them, uh, like this weekend, we played Port Huron and, 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 and we went up uh, and, and they stayed where they are. So if they were playing another team and they won that on Saturday night and we won Saturday night, we're the, the, the the margin of error is is, 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 is closer. So uh, any time you play in your division against your division people that uh, you're trying to set the, the bar of where we are. And uh, if you look in the standings right now, there's basically two at the top, and, they, and a, lot, a lot of them are down just a little bit lower. So, uh, But uh, you want those points. Those are the games that, that uh, uh, I, I don't want to say you have to win, but uh, when you cover, you got to make sure that you're ready to play them because they're, they're going to come out. And, and uh, if you're not ready, then uh, 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 things bad, things that can happen that you don't want to happen. So we we, we got to be prepared every night. and. Uh, uh, those games, those games, as I said, they're a little more important than you. You know, if we were playing Elmira a little bit, just from a, a, a standings uh, situation. Well, you look at the standings; they still have two games in hand. They, you guys, get one back yeah. here this weekend with the with the weekend off coming up. Mm -hmm. um, but it seems like they they don't make up that extra game here for for a little bit. So, do you guys still need to? And, and you go out there and try to win every night. But as, as the season starts to move into the back half, to, does that extra game at some point, you know, play play a little bit of a factor? Well, yeah, it's gonna like you know they got a game in hand on us. So you know if they win that one, that's that's three points that. Uh, uh, we're not going to get back because we've already played that game. So, uh, as I said, those, those things are out of our hands. And, and uh, I, I can't do anything about it now. And, and uh, as I said, we just got to take care of, uh, I'm not sure how many games we got left. But, uh, uh, again, I, the games that we've got remaining is, is we got to keep building. And, and uh, uh, we've built a foundation here with the guys. And uh, right now we're, we're, we're probably on the second floor of, of, of our house. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, eventually we can put the roof on. What, what does it look like? What does this team look like when that roof goes on? Oh, I'm excited about it. Like, uh, you know, like we played this weekend without uh, Sally, without, uh, you know, Joe Kennedy with Firthy and uh, uh, Kramer and, 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 uh, and uh, Mario. And so, uh, like, if, if we get anybody back, or uh, I know Sally's coming back, but as I said, like, it, and with even the team that we have right now, I, I'm excited about it. Uh, the, you know, the, the house is going up, and uh, uh, as I said, uh, each day we're putting a little bit longer, a little bit more together, and uh, eventually, as I said, uh, uh, I, I believe in my heart that uh, we're going to put the roof on. Well, the roof coming on here shortly. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know everyone likes to see that. But, uh, but I mean, you started building there even more uh, this past weekend against Port Huron. Mm -hmm. And uh, interesting weekend. It was a, a tightly contested game on Friday and then Saturday. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to here in just a little bit. But uh, we got more to come here on the Coach Harry Show live here at Earls in Winston-Salem. Steve Harrison and Dawson Baker joining us here on their Tuesday evening. We're back with more on the other side of this timeout here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB. Finish strong. Start here. 
Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Riddle Tractor has been selling and servicing tractors, mowers, and more for over 43 years. We stock over 50,000 parts and we service what we sell. Visit us at RiddleTractor.com. That's RiddleTractor.com. Equipping those who get the job done. For over 85 years, Mustin and Crutchfield has been more than just a local market. We've been a proud part of North Carolina's heritage. When our founders started in 1938, they sourced meats from local farmers and groceries from small companies. Finding a way to stay competitive in this market has been a challenge through the years. Luckily, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, and now we have close to 50 local vendors that we feature. We're proud to partner with the Carolina Thunderbirds as a local sponsor, celebrating community values both on and off the ice. Mustin and Crutchfield, your hometown local grocer. Hey there, Triad Thunderbirds fans. Introducing Tee It Up Indoors, your ultimate golfing destination in Greensboro. With our cutting edge golf simulators, you can tee off on world-class courses, no matter the weather. We're not just a golf facility. We're your partner in having a fantastic time. From golf lessons to corporate events, we've got it all covered. Plus, we even host birthday parties. Tee It Up Indoors, where golf meets excitement. Contact us today and swing into action. Flow Cadillac is a proud sponsor of the Carolina Thunderbirds. Visit 1400 South Stratford Road for a free test drive. Or go online to flowcadillac.com to schedule a sales or service appointment. Back here live on the Coach Harry Show here on Thunderbirds TV and on WTOB here, the first one of 2024, and being joined by the head coach, Steve Harrison, and Ford Dawson Baker. And, uh, guys, we, we talked about Columbus. We talked about the holidays. And then this week, this past weekend, you uh, faced Port here on for the final time here in the regular season. And uh, uh, Friday night, you know, you, t you talked about it at the top of the show. You knew that it was going to be uh, a little bit of a challenging weekend coming off of such an emotional weekend and such an intense weekend the weekend before and Port Huron they come out there on, on Friday evening and they get a first period goal and, and, and it really looked like it took a little while for you guys to find your feet. Well I, you know it's like driving the car and I think we're in first gear all the time and we, we were trying to get into second and uh, the, the one the message was to be patient and just keep plugging and, and uh, uh, you know you know in the second period there I think we probably had about four or five chances that 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 uh, normally we score on. And, and uh, uh, so I, I, I wasn't panicking. I, I, I knew, as I said, we're, it, it just seemed like every time we were trying to put it into second, we, you know, something happened and we couldn't get in and we couldn't get her going. And, uh, but the boys just kept working. And um, as I said, after the second period, we went in and I, and I said, hey, we, we got to get one goal. And, and, and 20 minutes and uh, I, eventually we, we, we found a way and we got a dirty goal uh, Copelinger went to the net and uh, I think I don't know who got the, the 40 or you got the assist I think but uh, everybody was we, we did a great job going crashing the net and uh, uh, as I said it was just a dirty goal but when, when you're in those kind of modes like we were in on a Friday night uh, that's what you have to do uh, uh, as I said, in the second period, we probably had four or five chances, pretty chances that uh, normally uh, I got 3,200 fans in the annex going crazy because we've already scored a goal. And uh, that night there, it just wasn't going in. So uh, we scored a dirty goal. And, and uh, as I said, I give the guys a credit because that's what you kind of have to do. And we got into second gear. And uh, I, I always have the confidence when, you know, if you know, we're going into overtime, uh, the boys seem like they like overtime and uh, they relish the opportunity. And uh, I, I think everybody uh, 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 pitched in on on on, uh, uh, on overtime, so it, it's it's, uh, it's it's confidence in from uh, in my mind that if we do get to that situation, and it, it's, it's come April, we're going to play playoffs and and, and we're going to get into overtime. And uh, as I said, uh, a lot of teams uh, we've got a great record right now in overtime, and uh, so if, when it gets to that point, uh, uh, it won't be. I'm not going to say, oh, geez, I don't want to go into overtime. I, it doesn't matter for me. I, I, I'll, I, I don't mind going into it. 
Well, right now that you guys won the yeah. overtime game, but um, you got you guys find find a way to win even when you face uh, you know a, a goalie who's playing pretty well. Like Sanchez, I know Ford, I know a couple other guys on on the power play, and uh, it was just one of those nights that that you know we were shooting and and and, and he was in the right position, or we were we, we we were still in first gear, and, and instead of maybe shooting right away, we we waited a second, and as I said, but still even those situations most of the time uh, we 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 score too. So uh, it was just one of those. nights nights that uh, uh, it took a long time to, to get the train going and uh, you know once the motor got going uh, we took off and, and you're able to take off there you said it was the dirty goal from from uh, Josh Keplinger yep. that, that tied it up and then you go to overtime for the second time of the year against them it was, it was schnapp off of off of an assist from you Dawson that won it in that first in that first overtime game again so this time uh, Caps he, go, he, go, he goes coast to coast there and and, uh, and, and he's able to bury one well you know he, he's a, he's a skilled guy and uh, I think he's just starting to find his way uh, uh, into the mode of, of, of playing again and uh, uh, as I said he just he's I think he's might have played like six games with us right now or five games with us so uh, it, it'll take him some time but uh, he, he knows uh, when he gets near the net uh, he knows where to put it uh, that's what I'm saying yeah uh, you know with him adding to the lineup right now I mean I I, I got a bunch of guys that can score and, and so I, I don't think that will ever be a uh, uh, something that I'm going to say, geez, I don't know if we can score tonight. Uh, uh, I think we can get scoring from all three lines and, and, and even some of the defensemen. So um, uh, he went down there that night and took a shot, and uh, that was a big-time shot. And uh, as I said, uh, that's why he's played for a long time. Dawson, for you, him, jo him joining you and Gus, how has it been for you the first few games? I mean, it's awesome. We played with him last year, and we kind of have good chemistry, and he knows the what to do with the puck and stuff well he's got a good shot and likes to score so I mean it helps us for sure so he wins the game on he wins it for you guys on Friday night and so um and, and that was also one you, you were able to get get some guys back you got Panty back as he was able to rejoin and and so now it was kind of that almost new look roster that from from before Christmas and you know the additions of uh you know Justin Mo Valley who was there just a little bit before Christmas but Braden Crow as well as a, as well as getting Josh back as well and, and then bringing in Victor as well and, and, and it seemed like they all they all uh, are, are starting to figure out um their 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 place here on, on on your squad well it's it's, it's been a little tough just uh, like a lot of the guys i don't know uh then you know i've been told that they're, they're they're good hockey players and they've come in and and and, and tried to fit in right away and it, and sometimes from a, a coaching standpoint you just until you see a guy in situations and all that uh uh, you know, I know Victor the first night, uh, a lot of people, well, you know, he didn't play a whole lot. Well, you know, it's my job not to make, uh, to, to put people in positions to succeed. And and that night there, him having played since uh, apparently his last game he played was the, the final game in Danbury. So uh, that's my job to make sure that, you know, people are always put in positions to succeed and not fail. And uh, that night there, I, I thought he did a heck of a job with the ice time that he got. Uh, uh, as I said, but uh, you know, when the games are tight like that, or, or, or different situations like that, uh, that I said that's my job to make sure that uh, uh, he's put in a good position. And so you're able to put him in that position. You go in, and you go into you go into Saturday, and you're trying to go for the sweep uh, on the week uh, of the on the season mm -hmm. uh, uh, of Port Huron. That is a five five and zero record, and um, you knew that uh, they were in a they were in a tough stretch. They they were playing their seventh game in nine days. They had the midweek against Mississippi, so you know they were going to be uh, a little tired, and, and it, and it kind of showed there in that first period. You guys got uh, got three early goals there in that one. Well, you, you know, the, we 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 talked about it before the game, and. Uh, everybody had to work on something that they didn't do very well the next night and uh, uh, some guys got their legs going and uh, it worked out very well so um, we jumped out uh, on them really hard and uh, it wasn't a surprise to me uh, as I said I, I knew we were going to come out we love playing Saturday night we love playing in front of a big crowd here and uh, as I said, so it, it wasn't a surprise to me that uh, the, the way it started with three nothing. So you take the you take the early three nothing lead. You get uh, goals early there. You get them from from Gus. You get them from Boots as well as Peter on a, on a breakaway. And then and and then uh, the game started kind of. Um, you started to see the trajectory that it was going to go, and it, and, it, and it happened there on a on a on a offside. And uh, the man sitting here right here uh, was hit a few seconds after uh, after the whistle, and then it all started to uh, all started to unravel a little bit. Well, yeah, we kind of played into their hands a little bit. Uh, the, the, uh, the the way we played Saturday night, I was happy with. Uh, it, it, the, the the situation that um, 
I probably was a little upset with, I think, on Saturday was, was that we kind of came out of character. Uh, uh, we had four bad penalties, in my mind, and uh, they scored four goals. And so that's out of character for our team. And uh, it, it, it's something that you, it, everyone, oh, well, you know, you won 9-5. to five, But I, I, I'm not worried about the win 9-5 to five tonight. I'm worried about the, you know, the game in April when if we come out of character in the playoffs and, and, and we lose a playoff game because we come out of character, then that, that's, uh, that's what I'm worried about. And so, uh, as I said, uh, as far as us, I, I don't know how many power play goals we got. We scored a few on Saturday night, some guys. And I, I thought for the most part, hockey-wise, we played very well. But as I said, we just kind of came out up to make sure that we don't come out of character and, and, and we stick to what we're going to do. And uh, I, I just want these guys to be the best they can be. And uh, it's just like anything uh, in life. You've got to you, you be under control. And uh, Saturday night, uh, uh, we let our emotions run. And... Uh, that we just played right into their hands in the way I felt. And uh, as I said, we learned something from it. Uh, we talked about it again today. Is, is every time you go on the ice, if you learn something, if you win 2-1 or you win 9-5 or you, win, or, or you lose 2-1, if you've learned something from that experience, then, then you're a better hockey player, you're better people, and uh, we're going to be a better team. Now, Dawson, that wasn't the first time that uh, uh, Scandal Barry had, had hit you after the whistle before. Is there any... Uh, any reason, any prior history there, or is it, or is it just something that's kind of sparked here this year? Well, I mean, I think he's jealous of me or something, but uh, <laughs> no, I, I kind of 